All right, I'm gonna start off by taking a heat protectant spray. This is mine, Kendra Platinum Hot Spray Protect and Finish. And it was $17, I don't even know where I got this. I'm gonna spray it all over my hair. And my hair is kind of damp right now. I'm going to blow dry it afterward to make sure that it's completely dry before putting any type of heat on it. And then I'm going to comb it through to make sure that the heat protectant is distributed all the way through my, the ends of my hair. And I think that heat protectant spray is a really important step because it really can prevent um, split ends and your hair getting damaged. So... Yep, just comb it all the way through. Alright, so I'm going to take this um, curling iron that I believe is about an inch, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure how, how thick it is, but I'm going to take it. It's fully heated right now. And I'm going to start off by sectioning off my hair. Take about an inch from the bottom and clip it up. All right. <clears throat> now take your brush and make sure that there's no knots in your hair. Okay. And now start with the curling iron. Take it from the loop, pull downward, all the way to the end. Make sure not to forget to cut the end. So now when that's curled, take your next section. Section. Clip your hair up. Oh, and by the way, if you hadn't noticed in my previous videos, I got blue highlights. In my hair, they're not really highlights, they're just extensions. And yeah, I just decided to put them in. I have a feeling they're gonna come out soon. Anyway, take an inch, put an inch, maybe a little less, and curl that all the way to the end of that. And yeah, my hair has layers, so the ends aren't always so even. Any hairs get out? Just twist it around the curling iron and hold it. You can lightly pat and see if the hair's hot. If it is, it's ready on top. And see how soft these curls are? They're not really tight, they're just kind of more loose. And that depends on how the thickness of your curling iron. I think this is about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. I'm just going to take another section in my hair and hold it. And take another section. And just curl your whole head like I was showing you, taking little sections at a time. framing the face. So see how I take my curling iron outward? And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have my mirror over there. And just keep it. I'm going to say you should leave it on about five more, five seconds, no more than 10 seconds or else you could burn your hair. Later on in the video, we're going to rake them up. So, just keep doing this to the rest of your hair. So, I'm going to do the top of my hair. These are the pieces that really frame my face, although these do too. Um, these top parts are really going to be the ones. 
to sit on top of my head. So I'm gonna brush it out and make sure there's no knots whatsoever. Take my curling iron in it. And I'm going to start off these top parts. I'm going to cut it through. It feels kind of naughty still. Yeah. You want to make sure there's absolutely no knots because if you do end up curling or applying heat to your hair with knots, it could burn even more if it didn't have knots in it. So make sure that you have no knots in your hair. Okay. Okay. I want to know what you guys think about getting blue in my hair. Where's my blue? There it is. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's crazy? Do you guys think it's cool? I mean, they're just little peekaboos. It's not a whole lot of hair. Now, this piece is really going to frame my face. It's like right there. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to curl outwards. Not like this. Curl outwards. That's the way to frame your face, to really curl outwards. <clears throat> wait, wait. Okay, that's ready. Now more hair over here. And curls are kind of like the typical Christmas, you know, log. Most people tend to like do soft curls for Christmas. And I know there's probably like, <clears throat> sorry, I'm kind of catching a cold. I know there's probably like a million other videos out there on how to do like the curls. But I just put a little twist into mine, so. It's nothing really authentic, you know? Okay, and now my wings. So decide how you want your bangs to sit. So I'm going to decide. Sometimes I wear them to the side, sometimes straight through the middle. I think I'm going to go straight through the middle today. Um, take, curl outwards to make my, oops, to make my bangs really frame my face really nicely. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. So, now you can kind of fix up your hair however you want it. Sorry that I haven't been looking at you. My mirror's over here, so I'm kind of like trying to make sure that I don't burn myself and such. And I love curly. I love curling my hair because it gives your hair so much volume. And obviously, you know, I think volume is pretty. So make sure everything's set how you want it. And let's go on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna flip my hair over once and just to kind of add more volume to my hair, just like this. Shake it out of it, go back. And just gonna add more volume, more definition. 
and kind of break up your curls a little bit for you. All right, so the next step, now that my hair is all curly in the way I want it, um, I'm gonna take a piece from kind of under my hair like this. And pin it into place with a bobby pin. Oh man, this bobby pin is in so loose. There we go. Like that. And then I'm gonna take one of my clip, my little pins. Pin it into my ear like that. Just gonna add a little cute little, um, I don't know, accent to my hair. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Take a hair from underneath. Too big of a chunk. I kind of need a thin little hair. There, that's better. My bobby pin. Pin it into place. Take my clip and my little thing, whatever these are called. Stick it into place right next to the bobby pin. And that's right about. It. That's really all it takes to get this hair look. Just kind of tussle it around. And you can spray a hairspray at the end. But I'm not going to do that stuff because I don't mind if my hair kind of gets, um, if my curls kind of crumble up and turn into more waves, which they kind of already are. So I'm not going to do the hairspray part. But you can definitely do it because by the end of the night, I'm sure that they will probably be really loose waves. But yeah. And then my favorite last, but definitely not final step, is the glitter. Of course you can skip this step if you don't have glitter, but I have glitter, and this is from Shimmer Platinum Spray Brocado. This is from like, you could get this at Cosmo, I don't think you could get it at Sally's, and these are just like salon stores so you can't really um buy it unless you're licensed which sucks but i think you could probably get it online and i'm going to spray it okay let's see the sprayer isn't working oh no wow that's wonderful my sprayer isn't working Wonderful. Alright, since my stupid sprayer would not work, I had to replace it. Just put another lid on there. And I'm gonna spray it into my hair. Maybe a little bit onto my clothes, and that's it. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there's probably a million and one. Oh my god, this thing just fell out. I haven't even started my day. How wonderful. All right, so I know there's probably a million and one videos like this one out there, but I don't know, I just felt like doing one because I don't know one. Anyway guys, I love you guys all and I hope you guys have the most amazing Christmas in the whole wide world and or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate. Anyway guys, um, happy holidays. Mwah.